Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry it's been so long. Finally got a watch I've been dying to get my hands on. This is the Tissot PRX. So first impressions, I've never owned a Tissot before and when I saw this one, I knew I had to get it. I think the design is super cool, but we'll dive into that more. But I'm impressed with the box straight off the bat. Uh, pops open it's not like your typical looking box there it has these little fold down doors on the sides but the most interesting thing to me is on the back it comes with two books you have here a book that's just kind of their watches over time it looks like and their current models and that's you know fairly cool but the other one is Tissot the story of a watch company and it oh if you look at it it has pictures it has chapters it's literally like a story written about them and i think that's just like really really cool and i've never seen anyone else do anything like this so that just like right off the bat is such a cool little feature first impressions of the watch though i think this thing is gorgeous uh the stainless steel is brushed but it kind of has this cool shine to it right out of the box the black face is it's deep and it, it doesn't have texture to it but it it doesn't just look flat black to me it's i don't it this sounds cheesy but it is somewhat inviting it's nicer than looking at just the flat black face but the the band the bracelet is i think really cool for this price point it is integrated into the case and i usually hate those but this one it doesn't grab the hair on your arm the taper is gorgeous it has the, the hidden invisible butterfly clasp that works really well it, it solidly closes a lot of cheaper watches i've seen the butterfly clasps don't really work uh, but this one works great. It looks great. It has a great heft to it. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel light um, It was super easy to resize. It's not screws. It's just the push pins um, but I I know it's weird to go to the bracelet first, but this bracelet I think is incredible taking a closer look at the face here very simple it just says Tissot 1853 you have your non magnified day window PRX, Swiss made at the bottom. As you can see, it's ticking because, yes, this is a quartz watch, but I don't really mind that. It has heritage. It dates all the way back to the 70s, and I believe it was called the C Series. Uh, let me just confirm that quickly. Yeah, it was the C Star Collection, and that's kind of what this was modeled after based on what I've heard. Um, and it, it, I don't mind that it's quartz. I don't mind having a quartz in my collection. I don't think it takes away from this watch. Here's some of the specifications of the watch. It is a case size of 40 millimeters. It is a thickness of 10.4 millimeters. Lug to lug though is 44.6. And that is, it's got heft. Uh, it claims it has a water resistance of 100 meters, but the crown does not screw down. So I would not swim with it. Uh, it is a quartz Etta F06115 movement. I don't really know a ton about that. Uh, and the crystal is sapphire. Um, but the thing that I think of those numbers really stands out is the uh, way it wears on the wrist. Uh, for a 40 millimeter watch, you know, my Explorer is 39, basically the same size. So this thing for only one millimeter more wears much bigger because of what I think most people call the shoulders of the watch where the, the first link of the integrated bracelet doesn't move, it doesn't go down, it is connected to the case. So this thing, it wears with some heft. So if you have a small wrist, I don't know if you'd really love this watch. But it, it looks great on the wrist. I think it's so elegant. A lot of people complain and say, you know, it's a ripoff of the Royal Oak. And I don't really see it. Definitely doesn't look like the Nautilus to me. I think this is just something that lives on its own. And I think you should be happy that you can, at this price point, get it. Speaking of which, the reason it took me so long to get one was... I didn't really want to spend $400 on this watch, and I found one brand new from a jewelry store in New Jersey for under $300. It was like $275. Had to pounce on it, and I think it's worth every penny of that $275 number. This thing is incredible, and it's a strong recommend. I don't have a shot of the loom, but it's just a very simple, it's the hour and minute hand and each hour marker, very simple. Doesn't seem to fade too rapidly, uh, but it's not also the best, but I don't think that's gonna be why you're wearing this watch. I don't think it's gonna be super useful. Um, I know most people love the loom, but never really use it in a practical sense anyway, so don't let that deter you from this watch. All in all, I think this is an absolutely incredible watch. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with a super long recap here like usual. Uh, I would just say definitely check this watch out if you're interested. 
it is not disappointing in the least bit. Uh, try to the prices are coming down now, so try to grab one below three hundred bucks. That's where I think they're really worth it. Um, and if you think it's a cool design, definitely go for it because it does not disappoint and it is a stunning watch. Until next time, thank you everyone for watching and see you then.